During the release of Halo Infinite, Jazzwares exploded onto the Halo toy market, releasing so many countless action figures, both in their Spartan collection and their three and three quarter inch World of Halo scale. But then, nothing. Silence into the ether. I genuinely didn't know if Jazzwares was going to continue producing Halo, and now I am delighted to say they are back better than ever with the Jazzwares Vault. And they just sent me this out of the blue, reached out and sent me this collection of what I assume is the new range of Halo figures. So thank you to Jazzwares for sending this parcel, but more than anything, I'm just excited to see that the world of Halo is continuing because I got a little bit addicted to Jazzwares <laughs> World of Halo and Spartan collection towards the end of 2020. Two. And you can buy a ton of Halo figures at the Jazzwares vault right now, and these ones I believe are coming soon. Without further ado, let's break open this monster box and see what the company has sent me. You know, I'd like to think I have a huge light box, but this is pushing it to the limit. This is an absolutely monstrous package. And I think a theme we're gonna see throughout this is super bespoke premium packaging. For those who are not initiated, Jazzwares vault is their new direct-to-consumer business model. They're shipping in limited quantities direct to consumers. Being able to purchase direct from Jazzware, for me, is the way forward. So let's crack this box open. Deep in the Jazzware vaults, there are powers at play that mere mortals do not understand. Nice blue packaging inside as well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, I think I have a feeling I know what this one is. This one is particularly long and large. Prepare for a new drop from the Jazzware's vault. Oh, these are so premium. One, two, three, whoa. <laughs> Jazzwares Vault. Let's go. So we're gonna start with this because I do think I know what this is. The rest of them I'm going in blind. Oh yeah, okay. Is it a box within a box? Jeez, okay, okay. It's very well packaged. So you're gonna have a near mint experience here. That is just a good looking box and I'm gonna use that for shipping. Like someone's gonna buy something, I'm just gonna send it in that because it looks absolutely epic. Can you imagine receiving this in the mail and just having a shipping label on there? Like that's so good. So the uh, Jazzware nerds out there will probably know what this is. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's the Big Shot Battle Pack, baby. I made a video about this when it first got uh, revealed. It was the like initial Jazzware Vaults figure pack. Um, they had a lot of stuff and you know, they have a lot of stuff other than Halo on the website, but this was one of the first drops. Oh boy, we're gonna get the macro lens on for this one. Give me that macro lens goodness. All right, so uh, basic lore dump. Uh, these were part of Jazzware World of Halo series three, maybe? And they didn't really get very well distributed. So Jazzware's basically bundled them all up into a new pack. And this time there's an AC Arbiter. That ODSC was going online for at least a hundred bucks. So that's pretty cool to see uh, that that's been re-released now so more people can get it. And that does look really clean. Good camo on there. We got all of our characters in um, their normal poses and that little premium vault exclusive. The first time I worked with Jazzwares was uh, unboxing their Neon Superfly Warthog at SDCC 2023. I might open some of these in separate reviews. So let me know if you want to see one in particular. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We'll go for this one. And this is totally blind, folks. I don't know what's inside. Look at that. It's like packaging within packaging. So, oh, oh, we've started off strong, boys. We've started off strong. It's Spartan Jerome. Now, he came out in the Spartan collection. The Spartan collection are much larger, more highly detailed, more accessories, articulation, everything like that. This is the first time that we've seen Jerome and any of Red Team in the World of Halo scale. And it's kind of a no brainer for Jazzware. You know, you've already made the model for um, the World of Halo or the Spartan Collection, and then you have to either scale it up or down and make some tweaks. So it makes sense that we're seeing a lot of the same characters re-released. You don't get much more premium than this. Look at that. The toy photography is great. I'm just happy that people can go and buy them. Like the drop comes out this week, but Jerome is a really strong, solid start. Is it Velcro? Nice, okay. So the Neon Superfly Warthog from Comic-Con was Velcro as well. Oh, oh damn. Damn, Jerome, you looking good. That yellow vise is crazy. The camera can pick it up. Like the camera knows what's up. That's all good looking, Jerome, boys. Oh, okay, what's next? Okay, who have we got? And it's a box within a box. We got boxes for days. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I, okay. I was not expecting this. That's actually epic. I was not expecting this. So this is the Master Chief Halo 4 version. And this is the last Master Chief that we need in the world of Halo scale. We now have all of them, I believe. These might have been like a plan to be a full wave in stores. I don't know. Look at that. Looks like he's flowing through space after Cortana zapped him away from the Didax uh, composer. Looking good, Chief. Oh, a light rifle as well. Good touch. There's such a premium sheen, like a gloss to uh, each of the figures. Who knows what we're going to get next? So basically, this was the first. This and the Big Shot Battle Pack. I was kind of hoping I did get this. This and the Big Shot Battle Pack. That was the first drop on Jazzwares Vault. That is so premium. Yeah. Let's find out what's inside. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, -ho. Yes. Oh yes. An ODST? An ODST? Of course. Of course that's what I want. Yeah, okay. Different colored shoulders. That one's white and red. Gotta be really careful with the packaging. Woo! Sheesh! There's our ODST. Two ODSTs in one package. And little partner shot. Lovely. The next figure. Oh! Spartan. Kelly. We have Fred that came in the wave with Esherim. And of course we have Infinite Chief, a million of those. Comes with the Oathsworn. I, I like, okay, so I don't like collect many bespoke action figures. Packaging, I don't usually see packaging like this. So um, this is so impressive to me. That's like Halo Legends package, right? It certainly looks like it. We have all of Blue Team in the Spartan collection. So now we're just missing Linda uh, from the world of halo so that's dope because i've seen which ones are dropping this week i know what this one is and i'm so excited because if anybody knows my channel you know what my favorite thing in halo is my all-time favorite my baby boy my baby boy yes oh combat evolved grunt you can hear him in the packaging right now. That's crazy that they've just made a Grunt Major. So the Grunt Miner came in the Halo 20 year anniversary pack. It came with two Grunts and two Chiefs. It was a gorgeous pack. I picked up a lot of them from uh, Target. I cannot believe they have the audacity to make a Grunt <laughs> Jazzware Vaults figure. <laughs> like this Grunt is in the same tier as like Kelly, Chief Jerome and an ODST, like a little Grunt. <laughs> Let's see my baby. Oh my goodness. I will never part from you, Grunt. You will be mine forever. He's so dirty. He's so muddy. I know like some people go back and forth about like the quality of things like the washes on Jazzware World of Halo, but I think there might have been a step up here. I think this looks really great. Goodness me, oh my, boys and girls. Five Jazzware World of Halo figures and the Big Shot Battle Pack in the flesh. And let me know what Jazzwares, World of Halo, or Spartan collection figures you've got in the past and which are your favorite. Domain, signing off.